Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, guys, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? How are you? Very good. Today? I'm tired of teaching my job. Okay. So Hello, good teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Damaris. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Um, teacher, I am working. Okay. I understand. I'm sorry. Okay. Don't worry. I understand. So thank you so much for your punctuality, Hugo, Jaime, Damaris, Maria Dolores, Luis Edgardo, Fares, Samuel, and Ivan. Thank you so much for your punctuality. So how do you feel today? Any volunteer to answer the question? How do you feel today? I feel very good. Okay, it's excellent been, answer. I feel excellent. Thank you so much for your answer. Any other answer? How do you feel tonight? Let's see. Today we are going to learn this other question. Take a look on your stream. I'm sharing the whiteboard with you. Today we're going to learn this question. How was your day? How was your day? It means ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? How was your day today? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Can you help me with some adjective to answer this question? So you say it was. This is the answer. How was your day? Then you say it was excellent. Estuvo excelente. So you say it was very busy. Estuvo muy ocupado. So you say it was tired. Estuvo cansado. Oh, sorry. It was. Oh, you say it was terrible. It was terrible este día. It was terrible. Oh, you say it was great. Cualquiera de estas respuestas puede utilizar. How was your day today? So you say it was excellent. It was very busy. It was tired. It was terrible. It was great. Luis Edgardo, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. It's correct. It was not bad. Okay, it wasn't bad. Sería it wasn't. It wasn't bad. No estuvo mal. It wasn't bad. Okay. So how was your day? Any other answer? How was your day today? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? It was excellent. Thank you for your answer. Any other answer? How was your day? The last answer. How was your day? Just one. One more. Teacher. It was funny. Uh, enfermo. Oh. Okay. It was funny. Give me a second. It was funny. Then in this case, you say today I was sick. Hoy estuve enfermo o enfermo. Today I was sick. Este día yo Teacher. estuve enfermo. Yes? Es casi como decir I don't feel good. Yes, I don't feel well, Sharia. I don't feel well. Solo que esta respuesta sería para la pregunta, how do you feel? So you say, I don't feel well. No me siento bien. I don't feel well. No me siento bien hoy. Okay, thank you so much for your answer. So yesterday we were studying the going to, right? 
oraciones para hablar acerca de los planes que tenemos para el futuro, eh, especialmente para el próximo fin de semana. ¿Quién se acuerda cuál era la estructura de estas oraciones? Let's remember them. So yesterday we were studying this. For example, we say I am going, I am going to, I am going to visit my family. Ayer alguien decía, yo tengo este plan. I am going to visit my family. Then, eh, esta estructura es para hablar acerca del futuro. Yo voy a visitar a mi familia. Entonces necesitábamos un sujeto, el verbo to be, going to, the verb, and a complement, my family. Luego vimos las preguntas, questions. Um, are you going are you going to cook are you going to cook next weekend va a cocinar el próximo fin de semana are you going to cook next weekend and you say yes I am no I not it was yesterday topic este fue el tema de ayer ¿verdad? So today we are going to talk about birthday plans. So let's go with the tonight's topic. Do you have any question about this? Preguntas de la clase de ayer? No, teacher. No? Okay. No, teacher. Okay. Vamos a dejar de compartir esa pantalla. So welcome again. Bienvenidos a los que no había saludado al principio de la clase. Welcome to the class. So, do you have any question about the platform exercises? ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta acerca de los ejercicios en la plataforma? Problems, doubts. No hay ningún Teacher, problema. Yo, eh, yo le envié ahora una, una foto de una expresión, de una respuesta que ya la había probado de varias maneras y, y de verdad que siempre me sale mal. Eh, ahí yo le pedí ayuda para ver si me podía echar la manita. Ok, sí, le respondí hace un momento. Hace un momento le respondí su mensaje. Eh, veamos. Sí. Ok, ¿cuál ejercicio era? ¿Se recuerdan? Por favor, siempre manden el número del ejercicio. Por ejemplo, aquí les aparece, este es el 1.11, este es el 1.4. So, do you remember, María Dolores? Sí, es 1.11. Oh, ok. Ejercicio número. Let me see. Es el 2. El de la conversación conversación 2 sería este, ¿verdad? de este ejercicio I don't know, I'm not going to do en este la respuesta sería así, es una oración negativa I'm not going to do anything special ok ok, let's try the answer vamos a ver si esa es la respuesta correcta Revisamos la que resolvimos en that is the right answer. Esa es la respuesta correcta. ¿Alguien más tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda, problemas en la plataforma? No, question. Bueno, no, el, día teacher, de, no. el día de hoy no, vamos yo. a ver este tipo de oraciones, ¿verdad? So let's start with tonight class then. Si no hay más preguntas o si hay alguna. Teacher, creo que yo, pone otra vez la, la misma, porque esa es la que me salía mal a mí también. Ok. Solo para tomarle una, una captura, para, para, por si no la puedo poner, solo la copio. Ok, gracias ahorita. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok, teacher. no problem. Thank you. Teacher, teacher. Yes, tell me. Este, fíjese que, bueno... Sería bueno de que al final de cada módulo revisáramos los test o a medida que vayamos avanzando, ¿verdad? Porque ves, yo me topé con esa, 
eh, not going to do. Le pregunté en la mañana y es con el que parece que varios nos estamos topando. Y no sé si sería bueno para que revisáramos los test ahí con, junto con los compañeros. Ok, para ir that's viendo great. El, ¿Verdad? Para ir viendo el, el, cómo vamos funcionando, si lo vamos haciendo bien o no. Bueno, ya si nos pegó, pues ya sabemos que nos da la calificación. Si al menos ha avanzado en la primera, el primer nivel, ya está completo, pero no haría malo revisarlo. Ok, es una buena sugerencia. Lo podemos hacer, por supuesto que sí. Hugo Giovanni, ¿do you have a question? Yes, sir. Uh, sobre lo del, de esa tarea, ya, lo, ya pude ingresar a la plataforma. Gracias a Dios, ya pude. Eh, ya no me toca hacerlo. <risa> este, igual, y con ese me topé también, con la eh, I not going to do. Eh, igual me parecía mal. Pero ya, ya, ahorita lo acabo de arreglar. Ok, excelente. Me da gusto que ya tenga acceso a la plataforma. Y qué bueno que el ejercicio también ya lo pudo resolver. That's great. Thank you so much. Bye. Por la otra pregunta, me preguntaban por las tareas que están aquí abajo. Donde dice discussion. La discusión, ¿verdad? Aquí abajo. Este es una tarea opcional, es una tarea opcional, si usted lo quiere hacer para practicarlo, claro que puede hacerlo. Al fin, en el video, ¿verdad? al final del video, les dice cómo es la tarea o qué es lo que tienen que hacer aquí abajo. Es opcional, si usted quiere hacerlo, lo hace. Para que practique también, es otra herramienta para que usted pueda practicar dejando aquí sus respuestas. ¿De acuerdo? Pero es opcional. Los que no son opcionales son los de aquí arriba, ¿verdad? Las tareas y evaluaciones. Any other question? Okay, no more questions. Let's start with tonight's class then. I'm going to share my screen with you. Let me know, please, if you can see it. This is the topic for tonight, birthday plans. Can you see my screen? Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes. Yes, birthday plans. Ok, para su próximo cumpleaños. ¿Ya pasó o todavía vamos a celebrar ese cumpleaños? ¿O vamos a esperar hasta el 2023 para esa fiesta? ¿Cuáles son sus planes de cumpleaños? Birthday plans. ¿Qué planes tiene para celebrar su cumpleaños? No hay día. Ok, let's go with the next thing here. We're going to learn some vocabulary. Party vocabulary. ¿Qué necesitamos para una fiesta? What do we need to a party? Balloons. Ok, we need some balloons. Yes, to decorate. Any other things? Music. Tequila, music, teacher. Music, ok, son drinks. Tequila is a good option. Eh, any other thing? We have drinks. Friends so. on family. Ok, friends, family. Which other things do we need? Teacher, how do you say pastel in English? Cake. Ok, cake. we need a cake. Yes, we need a cake. It. A gift. Gift. Um, gift or present. Uh, any other? Botanas and beers. Okay, snacks and beers. Snacks and beers, excellent. Uh, any other thing? What do we need? Soda, candies. Soda, candies, yes. Teacher, what do you say? Is piñata. Piñata. We need a piñata. Necesitamos una piñata. A piñata. What's other thing? Eh, Hay algo importante que nos hace falta. What is it? Dulces. Dulces. Candies. How do you say dulces? Candies. 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 Ya dijeron candies. candies. Muy bien. Excellent. Candies. Se nos olvidó la comida, ¿verdad? Food. Food. Music. 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 Okay. 
So food, ¿qué tipo de comidas dan generalmente en los cumpleaños en El Salvador? Sandwich. Sándwiches. 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 Chicken. Chicken. Pizza. Pan con pollo, teacher. Ok, bread and chicken is very common. So let's see this Horchata. Horchata, yes, horchata. It's a popular drink in birthday parties. When they are serving the cake, right? No puede faltar la horchata. So let's Teacher, start with Do this. you like horchata? Yes, I like horchata. It's very delicious. Okay. Okay, take a look. What is it? Look at the picture and tell me what is it. It's okay. It's okay. Cake. It's okay. Okay, excellent. Oh, what about this one? Music. Music. Okay. Do you like mariachis? Yes, no, I like. No. Yes. No. Yes, I like mariachis. <laughs> you say no, teacher. Just yes, banda party. music. No, I don't. Yes, no, I banda don't. Music. Teacher. No, I ah, don't. Okay. Let's see this one. What is it? Look at the picture. Balloons. Uh, balloons. Balloons. Oh, look at the picture. What is it? Drink. Drink. Champagne, right? Drink. Champagne. Champagne or wine. Or wine. That could be wine too. Now, what is it? What is it? Food. Okay, it's a place where the people serve food or where they make some celebration. So it's a restaurant, right? reception. It's a place for a reception. So take a look at this. We have cakes, balloon, live music, reception, and champagne. Let's go with the next set of the vocabulary tonight. Don't forget about this work. Cake, balloon, champagne, live music, reception. So take a look at this. Present. What are presents? Regalos. Money, teacher. Okay. Money, you say. Money. ¿Cuál es el mejor regalo que han recibido? What is the best present you have received, that you have get? ¿Cuál ha sido el mejor regalo que le han dado para su cumpleaños, for your birthday? My life. Okay, <laughs> my life. That is priceless. That is priceless. No tiene precio. Travel. Hey, excuse me, can you please repeat? Travel. Uh, a, a travel. Trip. Okay, a trip. Excellent. Very good. Bueno, es tu cumpleaños. Aquí están estos boletos. Vete a pasear. That's great. Very good. Hugo? Teacher, uh, today is my birthday. Congratulations. Good to know. Happy birthday. Thanks. Happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday, you. you. Good news. Good news, guys. At the end of the class, we are going to have a cake. Vamos a tener pastel al final de la clase with coffee. Okay. Happy the birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, all oh, 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 guys. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. That's great. So let's see, Piñara. ¿Todavía les gustan las piñatas? Yes. Muy bien. Son buenas para desahogarse, ¿verdad? En ese momento a piñara. Very good. Siempre compren una. Let's go with the snacks. Bocadillos. Then we have food. It could be chicken, meat. Eh, what other thing? Turkey. Duck. Candies. Chocolates. Lolly. The cookies, so candies. No hay fiestas sin dulces, ¿verdad? Or chocolate. Do you like chocolate? Do you like chocolate? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, I, yes like. I like. Yes, I like. Yes, I like it, teacher. Okay, that's great. So let's go with the next thing here. My next birthday party plans. Look teacher, at this. Mm. Uh, consulta cuando nos uh, interroga do you like uh, será la respuesta yes I do uh, ah, ok yes do you like uh, let's see for example do you like soda 
Then you say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Those are the answer. Yes, I do is a short answer. Or no, I don't is the negative option to answer that question. Do you like coffee, for example? Yes, I do. I, I like, no, I, 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 don't. I love drink coffee. Okay, excellent. Yes, I, say, yes, I do. I love coffee. Si algo nos gusta demasiado, en lugar de like, podemos utilizar love. To say, I love coffee. Eso significa, me gusta muchísimo el café, ¿verdad? I love coffee. And that's great. So let's see, my next birthday party plans. Mis planes para mi próximo cumpleaños. And I have, I'm going to have a party at my house yard. ¿Dónde va a ser la fiesta? I'm going to have a party at my house yard. Yes, right? En el patio. So I am going to decorate. I am going to buy some balloons. I am going to buy a cake. Eh, voy a comprar o voy a hacer el pastel. I am going to buy a cake. ¿Conocen ese verbo? Bake. Hornear. Hornear, muy bien. Yo voy a hornear un pastel. I am going, I'm going to buy some snacks. Voy a comprar bocadillos. I am going to invite my family and friends. I am going to have some wine and champagne. No falten, va a haber vino y champaña. I am going to serve chicken and meat with rice and salad. ¿Cuál va a ser el plato principal? Pollo y arroz. Ok. Va, van a ver carne, eso. pollo y carne. Eh, no, chicken, el pollo, carne, carne con arroz y ensalada. Ok, excelente. Thank you. So, van a haber dos opciones. En caso de que no le guste el pollo, I'm going to have meat. Yo voy a tenerle carne. The rice and salad. Arroz y ensalada. And people are going to give me present and good wishes. Las personas me van a dar obsequios y también buenos deseos. Buenos deseos. Muy bien. Who wants to help me reading these sentences? Any volunteer? Who wants to practice tonight? I. Thank you, Leslie Lisette. Okay. All the question or all? Yeah. Help me with three, please. The first okay. three. I'm going to have a party at my house yard. I am going to decorate. I am going to buy some balloons. Thank you so much, Jose Alberto. Can you help me with the next three, please? Permita, mi teacher, que el internet sí me está dando problemas. Por eso he cortado la, la, el video, porque lo tengo bien inestable. La, la me, conexión. One, two, three. Me. I'm going to bake a cake. I'm going to buy some snack. I'm going to invite my family and friends. Thank you so much. Ivan, can you help me with the other three, please? I go. I'm going to have some wine and champagne. I'm going to serve chicken and meat with rice and salad. People are going to give me presents and good wishes. Thank you so much. Hugo, one, two, and three, please. Okay, la primera, ¿no? Yes. I'm going to have a party at my house here. I'm going to the score. I'm going to buy, uh, buy some balloons. Okay, thank you so much. De esta manera, utilizando la expresión verb be plus going to plus the verb, hago oraciones ¿ven? acerca de los planes que tengo para mi próximo cumpleaños for my next birthday party. Do you have any question in this part? No. no questions? No. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Look at this. Think about your next birthday celebration. Are you going to have a birthday party? It's a yes, no question. Are you going to have a birthday party? Then you say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Va a tener una fiesta su próximo cumpleaños. Are you going to have a birthday party? Who wants to answer the question? 
Okay, I'm going to choose somebody. So let's see. I'm going to choose Jorge Lopez. Are you going to have a birthday party? Jorge? Hello, Jorge. Good evening. Are you going to have a birthday party? Okay. Carolina Vasquez, are you going to have a birthday party? Hello. Your participation is important. Any volunteer to answer the question? Teacher. Yes, I am. Yes, I am going to have a birthday. A birthday party. Okay, excellent. Next question. Mm -hmm. When is your birthday exactly? Do you remember this question? When? When is your birthday exactly? My birthday is on October 12th. Okay, Thank excellent you. answer. Thank you. So, ¿cuándo es tu cumpleaños? Uh, you say, my birthday is on October 12th. You say, right? So, Maria Dolores, when is your birthday exactly? My birthday is April uh, 16th. Okay, my birthday is on April 16th. Excellent, thank you. Eh, Let Lily said, when is your birthday exactly? My birthday is in January 29. Okay, excellent. It's on January 29. Perfect. So next question, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? ¿Qué va a ser para su cumpleaños? ¿Tienen algún plan? What are you going to do for your next birthday celebration? What are your plans? Party on the beach. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to, to the beach. Dancing with okay. my friends, my best friends. Muy bien. Good plans. Very good. So you say, I'm going to have a party of the beach. ¿Quién dijo este plan? Excelente. Ahí nos invita. Voy I'm a tener going una to give en una playa. I am going to give to give a, a good food. Okay, I am going to serve good food or delicious food. Delicious food. Any other plans? What are you going to do for your next birthday celebration? I'm going to uh, dream. Uh, no, I'm going to eat with my family and my friends. Okay, I'm going to eat out with my family and friends. Excellent plans. Voy a salir a comer, ¿verdad? Con mi familia y con mis amigos. Very good. Ok, now, hay una diferencia entre la primera y las otras dos preguntas. La primera es una yes, no question o una pregunta cerrada, le decimos en español. Solo tiene dos secciones para responder. Yes, I am o no, I not. Es una yes, no question. En cambio, when and what son information question. Usted tiene que dar información, ¿verdad? When is your birthday exactly? ¿Por qué le está preguntando? Por cuando es su cumpleaños. Fecha exacta. Por una fecha exacta. Muy bien. ¿Cuándo es su cumpleaños? What are you going to do? ¿Qué vas ¿Qué? a hacer? ¿Qué vas, ¿Qué vas a hacer? hacer? Entonces ahí tenemos que dar información. We have to give information. Ya no podemos responder. Yes, I am. No, I not. We have to give information. So we are going to study this type of question tonight. Thank you so much for your answer. Let's go with the next slide. In the next slide, we're going to listen a conversation.
So let's listen this small conversation, please. We're going to practice it. So let me know, please, if you can listen. Can you listen? Yes. Tyler. Yes. Okay. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's... Okay. Can you identify a yes-no question in this conversation? What is a good example of a yes-no question? You're going to do anything. Okay, excellent. Special for Valentine's Day. Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? And what is an information question? Where are you going to go? Okay, excellent. Where are you going to go? Another? Another example? What are you going to do? Thank you so much. What are you going to do? Okay, what is uh, this what conversation about? Now, what is this conversation about? Which is the special day? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Okay, when is Valentine's Day? When is Valentine's Valentine Day? When is? Valentine's Day? It's February 14th. It's on February February 14th. Excellent. So let's listen again. And then I'm going to ask to volunteer to practice this small conversation. But let's listen. Pay attention to the pronunciation, please. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's... Okay. Now let's pra practice. Two volunteers to practice in this conversation. Who wants to try? I have Luis Edgardo and... Any other volunteer? Luis and Hugo, thank you so much. So can you please start Hugo and then Luis? Okay. <clears throat> Eh, comienza Luis. Ay, después pones las pilas. Okay, so I try. Are Are you going to do anything special? Eh, es, especially for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I'm gonna to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How are you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to do, I'm going to go to dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks to you, uh, you too. Excellent, thank you so much for your help, Hugo and Luis. Very good job. That was great, thank you. Now pay attention to this okay. sentence. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. It's a negative sentence. Yo no voy, ¿verdad? El no lo vamos a agregar justo después del verbo to be. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Yo no iré a un restaurante. But I am going to go to a dance. Voy a ir a bailar. Let's listen. Do you have a question? 
sí, me fijé en la pronunciación del going to, que es como que lo, lo hacen diferente. No dicen going to, sino que dicen gana, gana o algo así. Okay, o sea, no, it's no dicen gone. Diferente. gone. Gone, it's gone. Uh -huh. Ok, ayer, ayer vimos un poquito de esto, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan? Eh, cuando estamos eh, hablando, ¿verdad? O en la letra de algunas canciones, el going to se pronuncia de una manera informal y es gonna, gonna. So, so Tyler, are you gonna do anything special for Valentine's Day? Y eso yeah. es siempre o I'm en algunas gonna. ocasiones. En algunas ocasiones, ¿verdad? más que todo es cuando están hablando dos personas que ya se conocen, ¿verdad? que se tienen confianza. Y es una conversación informal de algo que se dice, gonna, gonna, Pero normalmente sí tiene que decir going to. Yes, we say going to, going to. Pero si quieres sonar un poquito más natural, ¿verdad? Like American people say gonna, gonna. You can say gonna. And they are going to understand. Y le van a comprender. Gonna. También eh, escuché en una parte que como que unen palabras como how about, que dicen de un solo how, how about you, o algo así. Que lo, como how about que lo unen. you? How about 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 you? This part, how about you? Sí, ¿verdad? En inglés se da mucho eso de los linking sounds. Se une el sonido final de una palabra con el inicio de otra. Let's see, for example, go into, en este caso, ¿verdad? Va a escuchar algunas veces esta T como una R suave. So you say, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant. And you say, why? En este caso se da porque la T suena como una R, ¿verdad? Y al unir el sonido de go con tú, suena como core, core, core restaurant. So, eso se da mucho en inglés, ¿verdad? Linking sound, la unión de sonidos. So, we have to pay attention to the pronunciation. Thank you so much. Any other question in this part? Teacher, sí, yo tengo... Eh... Cuando decía de último, YouTube, eh, ¿qué significa en español? Hoy oh, sí, thanks, YouTube. Ajá. Eh, arriba les dice, have a good Valentine's Day. Que tengas un buen día de San Valentín. Thanks, YouTube. Gracias, tú también. Ok, thanks. ¿Se acuerdan de la frase, nice to meet you? Y yes. luego usted responde, nice to meet you, tú. Okay. Un gusto conocerte, un gusto de conocerte tan bien. That is the meaning of two. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next thing. Any other question in this part? New vocabulary in this small conversation? New words? Um, solo entender, teacher, en cuanto dice, are you going to do a knitting special for Valentine's Day? ¿Verdad que? Eh, ¿Cómo se traduciría así de una manera correcta eso? Porque no lo puede traducir, pero tal vez no de la mejor manera. Ok, eh, en este caso sería, ¿vas a hacer algo especial para el día de San Valentín? Sería como, así que Tyler, ¿vas a hacer algo especial para el día de San Valentín? Dice, sí, yeah, right. la expresión yeah es que vale a yes, right. Yes, I am going to take my girlfriend out for a dinner. For dinner. Voy a llevar a mi novia a cenar for a dinner. Any other question? Is it clear sure. now? Eh, palabra nueva, el que dice sound like fun. Sounds, ¿qué significa, teacher? Okay, that is an expression. Sounds like fun. Suena divertido, se oye divertido. Sounds like fun. Es como, va a estar divertido. Suena genial. Nosotros decimos, suena bien. Se oye bien. Any other question in this part? 
Okay, no more question. Then let's go to the next thing. Thank you for your question, guys. Very good question. Now, here is the structure for information question. Esta es la estructura para las preguntas de información. We are going to need the WH word, the verb to be, the subject, going to, verb, complement, and the question mark. So, what are the WH word? ¿Se recuerdan de las WH word for the information question word? Yes. Yes. Can you help me? Tell me, which yes. are they? What, what where, what, when, what, okay. where, what, which, who, what, where, who, who, when, which, when, when why, 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 how, how, también, how, how, what, where, who, which, when, why, and how. Those are the WH words. En este tipo de preguntas siempre van a ir al inicio de la pregunta. At the beginning of the question. Look at this example. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Where are you going to go? How are you going to get there? Who's going to be there? The first one. What is the meaning of the first one? What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? What? Okay. ¿Qué vas a hacer para el día de San Valentín? The second one, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde vas ¿Dónde a ir? Vas a... asking for a place. How are you going to get there? ¿Qué vas a hacer ahí? Mm, más o menos. How sería oh, cómo. Oh, oh. ¿Cómo vas a llegar ahí? Vas a ir ahí. Mm -hmm. And then who's going to be there? ¿Con quién vas a ir? Yeah, okay. ¿Quién, verdad? ¿Quién va a estar ahí? Who's going to be there? Who's going to be there? So let's listen to this example. The question and also the answers. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. Okay, now let's see a look at the answer. In the first one, what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? So I'm going to go to a dance. That is an affirmative sentence. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Yo no iré a un restaurante. So a negative answer. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Lagunas. Vamos a ir a un restaurante que se llama Lagunas. We're not going to stay at home. No vamos a estar en casa. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. Nosotros vamos a conducir. We are not going to take a bus. Nosotros no vamos a tomar el bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. Y my sister isn't going to be there. So negative, negative sentences. ¿verdad? Para hacer una oración negativa... El not lo vamos a agregar justo después del verbo to be. ¿De acuerdo? Y esa fue la duda que tuvieron ¿verdad? en algún, algunos en el ejercicio de la plataforma. Eso sería no going to. I'm not going to. We are not going to. And my sister isn't going to be there. Or she isn't going to be there. Do you have any question in this part? No teacher. No question. No teacher. teacher. Yo solamente teacher. Eh, vos, entonces significa quién o cómo, teacher. How significa cómo. Who significa quién. Who. How. El último significa 
En el último, who significa quién, quién o quiénes, who. Teacher. Yes. Y el wherever y o whenever no, cab no cabrían ahí en esas preguntas. No, esas son preposiciones. They are preposition. No es una pregunta. It's a preposition. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, which? Uh, ok, explain. which significa cuál, pero which se utiliza cuando tenemos dos succiones. Por ejemplo, yo tengo una camisa de color amarillo y una verde. A green t-shirt and a yellow t-shirt. Then I ask, which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefiere usted? Y usted tiene dos opciones. Then you say, I prefer the green one. Prefiero la verde. Entonces, okay. cuando tenemos dos opciones, entonces ahí utilizamos which. Okay, thanks. Thank you so much for your question. Any other question in this part? No more question. Okay, let's go to this. Holidays in the US. ¿Celebramos todas estas festividades en El Salvador? Or oh, yes, in the United States. United States celebrations. New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. In El Salvador, do we celebrate all of this? No. No, Thanksgiving. El, el Thanksgiving ese no lo celebramos. No, no lo celebramos. Halloween. 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 Ok, we don't celebrate Halloween. Ok, so let's pay attention to the pronunciation of these holidays in the US and also the dates. Holidays in the US. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Okay, so the, let's see, the close holidays here in El Salvador is Independence Day, and you are going to have a day off, right? It's a holiday, so you don't have to work that day. No tenemos que trabajar ese día, ¿verdad? In, then, uh, what are you going to do that day? ¿Qué va a ser? ¿Ya tienen algún plan para ese día libre? For independence. I'm going to see. To see. I'm going to relax. Okay, excellent. I'm going to relax. Very good. Any other plan? I'm going to see TV. Okay, I'm going I'm to, going watch, to watch, TV. watch TV. Watch TV. I'm going to watch TV. Excellent. Any other plan? I'm going to be. I go, I go, I gonna sleep. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna go to the beach. Excellent. I'm gonna park my songs. Okay, I'm gonna take my son to the park. Voy a llevar a mi hijo al parque. Yo quería, quería decir, ver los desfiles. Eh. Desfiles en inglés es la palabra que no encontré. Ah, ok. I'm gonna watch the... Let's pues see. Sí. Who wants to help me? How do you say desfile in English? I have forget that word. Let's see. Give me a second. Oh, it's parade. Parade is the word. I'm going to watch the parade on television. I'm going to watch the parade on television. 
Voy a ver los desfiles en la televisión. Ok, very good. Good plans. Thank you. Now, let's... Holidays in the U.S. Let's see. Look at this. Look at these paragraphs. In this way, we talk about our plans. Let's see. Halloween is going to be on October 31st. I'm going to go to a party. I am going to wear a Halloween costume. I am going to ask for candies and chocolates. It's a tradition, right? Eh, pedir dulces y chocolates. So that is Halloween. Halloween plans. Halloween is going to be on October 31st. I am going to go to a party. I am going to wear a Halloween costume. I am going to ask for candies and chocolate. Now, Christmas is going to be on December 25th. I am going to cook a delicious dinner for my family. I am going to invite some friends too. We are going to have a dancing party. So in this way, we talk about our plans. Look at this other one. Saint Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I am going to take my wife on a date. We are going to visit our favorite restaurant. I am going to buy her some beautiful roses. So making plans, right? haciendo planes para las celebraciones eh, que están próximas, ¿verdad? That are coming. So any volunteer to practice in the paragraph number one? Who wants to help me reading this? Is it new vocabulary there? Palabras nuevas en ese párrafo. Disfraz. Oh, Halloween custom. Disfraz de Halloween. Hugo, question. Sí, and this uh, uh, where? And this is gonna where? Oh, and where? Gonna... Es el verbo usar, ¿verdad? de llevar la ropa puesta. I'm gonna wear, voy a usar un disfraz de Halloween. Okay. Any other new word? What about the second paragraph? New word there? Uh, dinner for my uh, dinner. Uh, dinner, I'm going to cook a delicious dinner. Una cena deliciosa para mi familia. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay, we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, um, desayuno, lunch, almuerzo, and dinner, la cena. Any other question? Uh, and uh, okay, say ask. I am going to ask. Okay, eh, voy a pedir. I'm going to ask. I'm Chier, going to ask for candies and chocolate. Yes? Ask no es también como como dar. Como dar. Ask es el verbo preguntar. O pedir, ¿verdad? Ah, se puede utilizar eh, o en, en las dos Sí, para, para decir las dos cosas. Así es, para preguntar o para pedir. I'm going to ask. Voy a pedir en este caso. Or ask me a question. What is your question? Tell me. No, otro ejemplo. Ask, ask me a question. Ask me una pregunta. Algo así. Ah, ok. Ask me a question. Pregúntame, ¿verdad? Ask me a question. Thank you for your example. Very good example. Thank you. Any other question? If no more question, I need a volunteer who wants to practice reading the first paragraph. A volunteer, please. Thank you, Luis. Tengo a Luis en el primer párrafo, a José Alberto en el segundo y Hugo en el tercero. Thank you. Let me start with Luis. Okay. Yes. Eh, donde dice Halloween costume, ¿qué significa costume? Costume, disfraz. Oh, ah, thank you. Okay. 
Thank you for your question. Luis, it's your turn. Do it, please. Okay. Halloween is going to be on October 31st. I'm going to go to a party. I'm going to wear a Halloween costumes. I'm going to ask for candies and chocolates. Thank you. In the next paragraph, we have the T. Christmas, Christmas is going to be on December 25th. I'm going to cook a delicious dinner for my family. I'm going to invite some friends to we are going to have a dancing party. Thank you so much. And Hugo in the third paragraph. Is it Halloween? Okay. Ah. Is this one? Ah. Says Valentine's Day is going to be the on uh, February uh, for a uh, fourteen. I'm, I'm going to take my wish on the that we are going to be our favorite restaurant. I'm going to go at uh, going to buy her some very uh, beautiful rose. Okay, thank you so much. Very good job. So it says, I'm gonna take my wife. I'm gonna take my wife on a date. I'm gonna take my wife on a date. Favorite, okay. we are gonna visit our favorite restaurant. A very good job. Thank you so much for your help. So Maria, do you have a question? Or do no, you want to participate? No, yo, yo quería leer. <laughs> okay, which paragraph do you want to read? En cuál párrafo le gustaría? Which one would you like to read? The first one, the second, or the third one? Esta está bien. Okay, go ahead. Thank you so much. San Valentin Days is going to be on February. 14. I am going to take my wife on a date. We are going to visit our favorite restaurant. I am going to buy her some beautiful robes. Okay, thank you so much. Ivan, would you like to read? Yes. Okay, let's listen, Ivan. Which one do you want? First one or second one? First one. Okay, excellent. Oh, uh, second, please. And the second, I read the second. Okay, do it. Christmas. No problem. Chris, okay. Christmas is going to be on December 15th. I'm going to cook a really sweet dinner for my family. I'm going to invite some friends to. We are going to have a dancing party. party. Okay, thank you so much. Can you please read again December? Ivan, December. Uh, la fecha. The day. Yes, la fecha, please. Wow, se me ha ido. Ah, okay. Uh, 25th. Oh, yeah, 25, le voy a decir, pues, 25th. <laughs> okay, no problem. December 25th. Excellent, thank you. Very good pronunciation, Ivan, thank you. Excellent. Fares eh, Samuel, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Samuel? No, no, es que si vamos a leer también los párrafos, no sé. Ah, okay, do you want to participate reading? Can you help me with paragraph number one, please? Uh, yes. Um, number one, yeah. Halloween is going to be on October 31st. I am going to go to party. I am going to wear a Halloween custom. I am going to ask for candies on chocolate. Thank you very much. Excellent job. Now we have to finish the class. Let's go with this. Okay, here is the explanation. Go into reduction in pronunciation. 
Gona is the sound. Gona in informal context. We are going to use this pronunciation in informal context. Uh, spoken English, especially. Solo lo vamos a ver en inglés hablado. Si es un escrito formal, siempre vamos a encontrar going to. We use gonna instead of going to, to informal context, especially in speaking and in song lyrics. Solo vamos a poner en práctica cuando hablemos, solo cuando estemos hablando y en la letra de algunas canciones lo va, lo va a encontrar. Si es un escrito formal, no se puede usar. Siempre going to. You have to use going to. Now, let's listen this example here. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Let's listen again. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Any volunteer who wants to try reading these examples using the sound gonna? No volunteers? Yes, Your teacher. Okay, thank you. Are you go, gonna have a party? No, I gonna to go out with a friend. Are you go, gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to Nick's Coffee. Okay, thank you so much, Jaime, very good. No, I'm gonna go out. Uh, are you gonna go? Sorry, are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Ivan, it's your turn. Let's try, Ivan. Okay, here we go. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. Are you gonna go to the restaurant? Yes, we are gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Thank you so much. Very good job. Uh, Hugo, it's your turn. Go ahead, do it. <clears throat> Are you gonna to have a party? No, I'm gonna uh, go out to with my friends. Are, are you gonna to go a restaurant? Yes, we are uh, gonna to go tonight coffee. Thank you so much. Very good try. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate your help in this exercise. But going to se convierte en gonna. Entonces el to ya no tenemos que decirlo. Are you gonna have? Are you gonna have? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Are you gonna okay. go? Gonna go. Okay. The last exercise for the action of going to. Yes. Perdón. Ella dice le have. Podemos, podemos decirle have a party. Have a party. Have a party, eh, yes. Are you going to uh, have a party? Okay. Are you going to eh. have a party? Okay. Reduct. Okay. Let's try to read these sentences using the sound gonna. Who wants to try? For number one, two, and three, any volunteer? Try to pronounce these sentences using gonna. Thank you, Jose Alberto. Oh. One, two, and three, please, Jose Alberto. She's gonna dance at the party. They are gonna eat a lot. We are gonna speak with our friends. Thank you so much. In the siguiente stress, number four, five, and six. Uh, Hugo, please. Okay. He's gonna sing at the party. I I gonna I gonna to cook the birthday cake. I gonna I gonna drive away. Okay, excellent. Drink. Uh, drink wine. Uh, drink white. 
Perfect, thank you. Eh, let's see, one, two, and three. Oh, let's see, Maria Dolores, please help me. Yes, eh, teacher. What do you drink, wine? What is? Oh, I'm gonna drink wine. Voy a tomar vino. I'm gonna drink wine. La última palabra es vino. Yes. That yes. is the meaning. Okay, any volunteer? Tenía varios, pero se arrepintieron. Yo, yo. <laughs> ah, okay, tell me, number one, two, and three. Y luego en la cuatro, cinco, seis, four, five, and six, we're going to listen Jose Monkey. Y después, eh, Jonathan, y luego, ¿quién más? Oh, Samuel, okay. So, go ahead, Maria, please. Loli, please. Comienzo yo, teacher. Yes, please. Okay. She is gonna dance at the party. There I going gonna hit a lot. We we are gonna speak with our friends. With our friends. Thank you so much. Who's the next? Let's go in the next, please. He's gonna sing at the party. I'm gonna cut the beard cake. I'm gonna drink wine. Excellent, thank you. Next, number one, two, and three. Jonathan? He's gonna dance at the party. They going to eat a lot where I'm going to speak with a friend. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your help. Thank you for your participation and your attention during this class. Uh, do you have any question about the class or about the platform? This is the moment. Este es el momento. Do you have any question? No questions. Okay, that's no great then. Tomorrow we are going to check the exercises on the platform at the beginning of the class. Uh, so be sure that you are uh, connected at 8 o'clock p.m. A las 8 en punto vamos a tener una revisión de los ejercicios de la plataforma. De acuerdo? Uh, see you tomorrow then. It's okay. Sleep well. See bye you bye. tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Thank tomorrow. you very much. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Ivan. Bye. Is he your son? Ivan, is he your son? Yes, he's my son. Yes, he's my son. Fabricio. Oh, Fabricio. Nice to Fabricio. meet you, Fabricio. Nice to meet you, too, dear. Here. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Okay, that's great. <laughs> bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye Mauricio. Adiós. Julio, Loli, Candida, do you have a question? Hello. Your microphone, Candida. Turn on your microphone. Yes, yes. Do you have a question? No, no. No question. No, okay. No. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.